Game Boys. Welcome, baby rhinos, to The Rarest, a series where we show off the coolest collectibles in every section of pop culture. And today, we're showing off the rarest Game Boys ever produced. Well, this one's not rare, but you'll see what I mean. On today's episode, we're looking exclusively at the original Game Boy family, but don't freak out just yet because next week we'll have some sweet, sweet DS action for all of you. So I hope you guys enjoy this brand new series and love digging into Nintendo's rich culture just as much as I do. This is the rarest, Nintendo Game Boys. The original Game Boy line was released in Japan in 1989 and both revolutionized the portable gaming industry and gaming as a whole. Created by the father of the Game & Watch, yes, that Game & Watch, Gunpei Yokoi was simply trying to make commuters' lives better when he envisioned a powerful mobile device that would allow consumers to take their favorite Nintendo games with them anywhere. After more than 200 million units sold across multiple Game Boy iterations, and of course making franchises like Tetris and Pokemon household names, it's clear that Mr. Yokoi accomplished everything he ever dreamed of and more. And today on The Rarest, we're taking a look at some of these special Game Boy models that fetch ludicrous amounts of money on sites like eBay due to their collectability. You'll see promotional Game Boys, special colored or themed Game Boys, and even limited edition Game Boys that will make any Nintendo fan go bananas. And speaking of bananas, here's our first entry, the limited edition Donkey Kong Game Boy SP. This banana colored system was given out in Japan in 2004 to those who purchased both Donkey Kong Country 2 for the Game Boy Advance and Donkey Konga 2 for the Nintendo GameCube. If you bought both, you'd receive an entry form to win one of only 1,000 of these limited edition beauties. A new in-box version of this system will run you anywhere upwards of $1,000 on sites like eBay. However, if you're an out-of-box collector, I managed to find one for under $400. Expensive? Most definitely. But hey, that's the price you pay to be a member of the DK crew, huh? That was weird. Anyways, keeping in line with the Game Boy SP, let's take a look at another rare peripheral for a popular franchise, Pokemon. Over the years, there have been many Pokemon-themed Game Boys, and in fact, the SP alone had a ton of really ingenious designs. However, out of all of them, the one that's become the most elusive is... Pikachu. This cute contraption was originally a Toys R Us exclusive, but unlike the last yellow SP, this version was made available to both North America and Japan. Although there's no official numbering system, this is still a very limited device, and I'd wager there's probably only a few more in existence than the DK ones mentioned before. You can still get a loose one for just over $100, but don't expect that to be the case for very much longer. Let's wrap up the SP line with what is possibly the most elusive artifact in Game Boy history, the 24 karat gold Minish Cap SP. This baby was Nintendo's answer to Willy Wonka, as the company placed six alleged golden tickets in the gold painted Zelda SP boxes during the Minish Cap's release. To this day, no winner has ever come forward, and no eBay listing has ever shown up. But somewhere out there, six of these gold-plated mysteries still exist, and hopefully, one day, we get to see one in the wild. Until then, I guess you could always get your hands on the gold-painted version for a reasonable $100. Moving on to another holy grail for Nintendo collectors, we have the two Tezuka Osamu World Shop Edition Game Boy Lights. One clear model with Astro Boy on the faceplate, and the red clear model that features all of Usamu's manga creations on the front. Released at World Shops exclusively in Japan to promote the new Game Boy Light family of systems, this limited edition console will run you hundreds and is a crown jewel in many hobby collections. The red edition seems to sell for more than the clear version, but either way, these cool variants are the very definition of scarce. Get one if you can, but good luck. Finally, we come to the last system on our list, and boy is it a doozy. You guys remember Nintendo Power, right? It was that Nintendo magazine that held all of the best tips and secrets before the web kind of stole its thunder. Anyways, to celebrate 100 issues, the magazine sold customized Game Boy Pockets with the celebratory logo engraved under the screen. I guess not many 90 kids purchased this gold exclusive, as it now fetches easily upwards of $1,000, and that's out of the box. As far as I know, no one's ever sold a new inbox version online before, 
but rest assured that next to the never released gold painted Zelda SP, the Nintendo Power 100th Anniversary Game Boy Pocket is the rarest Game Boy out there today. So that was our first video, and trust me when I say there's still a ton of rare systems out there. So come back next week to check out our follow-up video on the rarest Nintendo DS systems. And make sure you leave a comment below letting us know what you thought was the coolest Game Boy on our list. Also, if you enjoyed the premise of this series, make sure you share the video. It helps our channel a lot. Until then though, I'm Stan from Random Tens, and this has been The Rarest. Happy hunting, baby rhinos.